Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight we got a double header. First game features the 16th ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds, who are 4 and 2 on the season, traveling to Pocatello, Idaho to take on the 2 and 3 Idaho State Bengals in some more wacky Pac-10 action. Slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord community to get yourself on the field for one of our 12 schools here in this dynasty. Look forward to calling all your guys' names during the games. Let me get this shared in the Discord. And it is shared. And let me get this here graphic off the screen. There it is. Let's go. Alright, Southern Utah, they've lost two straight games, but they do have the number one defense in the country. So, I mean, they have that going for them. Number nine offense as well. Idaho State has the fifth best pass defense in the country, which is kind of surprising. And that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much all they got. I'm a decent turnover differential, but again, this is the Pac-10. Anything can happen here. Let me go ahead and make sure I get the right playbook. Boom. All right, who we got in the chat, guys? Who we got? Tyler Rocky, J.P. Parker, Ron Kemp in the chat. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. And we are almost at the end, guys. Chaos Driven, my brother in the chat. Alright, let's get it. I'm ready. Bryson Shields in the chat. Regear Productions. Head coach for... Ooh, oh, you hear that? Pop. Mountain Dew, what's up? Anyways, head coach for <laughs> Southern Utah in the chat. Regear Productions, what's going on? Should be a fun game. They are without a 78 overall tight end, so that could be huge. We are also without CJ Moreland. I believe he's hurt for the rest of the season. All right. Man, we're going to kick it. Let's kick it. My sweet revenge in the chat. Audrey, what's going on? Freshman defense event for the Th Thunderbirds. Oh, boy. Nice return. Now, let's take a look at that defense, folks. As soon as I find it on here. There we go. Defense led by Jericho Stevens at DN. On the opposite side of him is Audrey Ann. She is number 67. Adam Joseph in the middle on that line. Linebacking core is just Logan Tyler. And there's a nice tackle by Adam Joseph to start things off. I like it. And who else we got here? C.J. Moreland, he's done for the season, I believe. Bill Stevens and Emmanuel Wise are at free safety. And Bryce King is the strong safety here for Southern Utah. 16th team in the country. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's going on, Procrastinator Sports? How you doing? Uh-oh. Get him, Hagen. Not a good start for the secondary. Goodness gracious. Oh boy, that, that was a rough start. Already picking on Hagen, who is the backup to CJ Moreland. He's filling in for him. That's tough, tough start. First and goal from the three yard line for the Bengals. Look at Bennett's career, 34 touchdowns, 32 picks, almost 5,000 yards, he'll get that this game, 100%. Are they gonna go off tackle here? Yep. Oh, baby, woo! <laughs> Get out the way, son! Oh, he's dead. Get him a body bag! John Perez in the chat. Big Geo in the chat. What's going on, folks? Already up to 15 viewers tonight. Don't forget to slap that like button, guys. This is game number 69 for the season. What's up? You know. Second and goal from the five-yard line. For the Bengals, tight end is in the zone. It's actually a receiver, so watch out for him on this play. I might go play action. Oh, they're going to go option. And that was a nice tackle by number 57. Hey. 
All right, third and goal. Big time play. Logan Tyler's in the zone. They're going to go off tackle again. Yep. Yeah, get out of here. Jericho Stevens on the stop. And we hold him to a field goal. So they get all the way down to our three-yard line. And we push him back to the five and hold him. I like it. Where's Rihanna? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> A beautiful stop 22 yard field goal attempt now for the Bengals and that is easy cash money in the bank six plays 68 yard drive two minutes off the clock and we'll get to see the Southern Utah offense take the field here in a moment after the kick return going to be having a double header here tonight number one VMI takes on Western Carolina after this one that should be a fun game as well big 12 action and there was zero blocking on that return up to the 13-yard line. Woof. Take a look at that Southern Utah offense led by sophomore quarterback Nicholas Hall. He's backed up by Alex Dar, who's also going to be playing some receiver here tonight. Backfield is Cameron Matthews, Harris Gurley at halfback, and Brandon Lee is the fullback. Receiving core is Jaquan Freeman and Prince McCutcheon. And, oh, my goodness, the Bengals defense stuffs that play from the start. My goodness gracious. Freshman tight end, Dwayne Haynes, number 44. He's a new addition, added uh, in week eight, or before week eight, rather. And Brandon Red is the right guard. He is number 72 and a junior. Jay Washington in the chat. Craniac Gaming. Slim Chris, what's going on, everybody? Okay, Brandon Lee with a nice catch. To be fair, I brought up the number. Yeah, I sure did. I mean, I can't help it. It's the 69th game of the season, man. Third down and three. Let's go with the option here. Okay, you, you're just going to let Nicholas Hall run down the field, untouch. All right, bet. Yeah, I'm going to avoid the fumble because we know how that's going to go. 49-yard run for Nicholas Hall. Let's go. What I'm talking about, baby. You like the Idaho State uniforms, John? Yeah, I like them too. They're pretty cool. I like the orange uni, orange jersey. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, boy. We're going to take off again and another first down for Nicholas Hall. I'll take it. 64 yards rushing already on two carries. 6.9 point favorites tonight. Oh my goodness. Where are you come up with these numbers, man? I like it. First and 10 from the 16. Harris Gurley gets a carry now. Oh, the spin move and an 8-yard run for the freshman halfback, who was the Heisman frontrunner for several weeks before falling off a little bit. Out of bounds is a great idea. Yes, sir. We don't need no crazy fumbles. I'll tell you what, man. Okay, okay. Okay, touchdown. What's up? Let's go. We got the lead. Seven-yard touchdown run, and he's got, uh, what's he got, 71 rushing yards on one drive. Insane. Let's go. We're not losing no crazy Pac-10 game, all right? We're just not going to do it. I refuse. I refuse to lose, I say. All right, seven to three. That was a six play, 87 yard drive. And, you know, all on the ground. Nichols Hall was not touched. That is definitely something we want to keep, you know, keep going. And 99 kick power for Johnson. Hit him. Choose to lose again. Listen, Jay. I will make Cal Poly lose on purpose. No, I won't. I can't do that. 
<laughs> Alright, first and ten for the Bengals. See if we can uh, avoid avoid the big plays. Oh, the deflection from Logan Tyler. Come on, baby. Get that weak sauce out of here. We do this. Good pass. That's picked off by Bennett. And Bennett is gone. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Let's go. Beautiful. 27 yard pick six for the outside linebacker. Logan Tyler, the future EFL star. Yes, sir. Southern Utah is so talented. They sure are. A lot of talent on this roster. And they added a lot of missing pieces in the offseason as well. So they're only going to get better, which is just scary. <laughs> Idaho State, of course. I mean, they've been, they've been the doormat of Pac-10, so... But they're improving. They got two wins on the season already, which is probably more than they had in the first season of this series, for sure. Oh, I got leveled. And so did he. Let's go. Love these all white unis. So beautiful. All right, first down, 10. See if the defense can continue to dominate after that goal line stand. Oh my goodness, Bryce King, you should have had a pick six, my friend. What are you doing, my guy? Second down and ten. Let's go. Quick pass, left side. And Bennett, who had the pick six, makes a nice stop. Maybe one yard on the reception for Jackson, the halfback. And that's going to bring up third down and nine for the Bengals. Oh, baby! Woo! Jericho Stevens! Did he just go unblocked? Goodness gracious! Sean Mahan in the chat. What's going on, Sean? How you doing, buddy? Hope you are well. This defense is nasty. I mean, they are number one in the country, but still, nasty. Jaquan Freeman from his own 30-yard line. And gets it up to about the 38-ish. And we're just going to uh, kind of keep it on the ground here. Uh, avoid fa fumbles, you know, lots of turnovers, because that's, that's what's been happening all week eight, and it's very, very sad. No blocking. Fantastic. Just not right. You doing fine? That's awesome. How am I doing? I mean, I'm alive. That's all I got right now. I accept that. There's Gurley, the freshman. Oh, baby. <laughs> Runs over the corner. Oof. I know he's a little guy, but my goodness. Showing some strength on that one. Keep it on the ground. Third and inches. Let's go speed option. Got to get Nicholas Hall on the move. That's where he can hurt you. Oh, I got the first down. Tried to spin him out. Spun out one of them. You're throwing in your, your hat in the ring to coach Idaho State. John, Idaho State's not one of the 12 schools, buddy. <laughs> Oh boy. No blocking. Alright, we're just going to take off again. It's the Nicholas Hall show here tonight. 521 yards rushing on the season. Oh my goodness. It's just almost... It's not even fair, really. The teams that don't have coaches, John, are Bryant, Cal Poly, uh, who else? Northern Colorado doesn't have a coach. 
Brandon Lee, you want to actually, you know, maybe extend your hands, maybe possibly catch the football? That would have been fantastic right there. Uh, VMI does not have a coach. Who am I missing? South Dakota State? I think that's it. Matthews up the middle. First down, Southern Utah. Eighty-two percent in the red zone this season. And Brandon Lee's gonna get the carry on the option. That's gonna be his first touchdown run of the season. We don't see him too often anymore with the switch to the Northwestern offense. But he's in there in a couple formations, and he gets a big time 18 yard score right there. He had over a thousand rushing yards last season. Yes, I, I do say Bryant. I do. Only thing is, you're going to have to finish your college football career first before you can coach. Since you already got a player. Unless you retire, you know. You should retire early. <laughs> Yep, VMI doesn't have a coach. I'm the coach of five of the teams. There's seven actual coaches for the other school. All right, Bennett, let's get it. Okay. Harris Gurley in the chat. What's going on, Harris? Who retires early? I mean, you can retire whenever you want, really. Basically, I just delete your player in the offseason if that's what you want. Sit down, son. All right, JP, take it easy, bro. Appreciate you stopping by, man. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. 21-3, to Southern Utah on top here in Pocatello, Idaho. Second down and seven now for the Bengals. Oh, there's always options, John. Always. That was a decent run. Oh, man, just wasn't fast enough to catch him. When you retire from the EFL, you come back to coach North Dakota State. Nice. Oh, Bill Stevens. What are you doing, my guy? No. No, get up. Please be okay. Don't do this to me. We're already down a corner. Emmanuel Wise now in there at free safety. Good defense after the first possession. Yeah, that first one was a little rough with that 63-yard pass. Get him. Good tackle. Let's go. Kirk is tearing it up right now. Number 57. I believe he's a freshman middle linebacker. Bill Stevens. Okay, elbow bursitis. He'll be back in the fourth. No worries. Second down and 11 now. Off tackle? Are you going to go off tackle? Nope. Let's go get him. What is this? Oh my goodness, how do we not sack him right there? Why you do this? <laughs> Come on. Ref, the football is still on the field, way up here. What what are you doing? Somebody's gonna trip and fall. Deep shot. No, Emmanuel! Alright, he pushed him out. Oh my goodness. That left side is so weak because we have uh, our number two cornerback covering the number one receiver now because CJ Moreland's been injured for the whole season and now Bill Stevens is out of free safety so we got Emmanuel Wise and it's he's not the fastest it's a little rough right now secondary is definitely a little bit thin and I'm not enjoying it okay overthrow I'll take that All right, baby, let's go. Second down and 10. Let's try to get some pressure. Let's put some linebackers. And we're holding strong. Got a steady 19 viewers on the stream. Who's Bill Stevens? Come on, Tyler. What you mean, bro? This man has been in so many of the streams. Nice tackle by Stevens. He's having one heck of a game right now. Nine tackles for loss. Two sacks on the season. 
And that's going to bring up third down and 12. Let's go man coverage across, except for the safeties. They're going to cover deep halves. Third down and 12. No, I got caught. That's all right. I got him. At the 20, so we're going to hold him to another field goal here. It'll be a 36-yard field goal attempt. And the field goal is right down Main Street. Nine plays, 62-yard drive. Again, another drive where they get one deep pass and they get some points out of it. Luckily, we held him to a field goal up. 21 to 6 here in the second. And Prince McCutcheon on for the return. Never get to the outside on the right. It's very sad. Pretty even in yards right now. Idaho State winning the time of possession battle. Cameron Matthews, nice carry, left side, oh my goodness. And I'm just going to go out of bounds because, again, I don't want to have any crazy fumbles. But a really good run for the junior halfback. If you guys have been watching any of the games this week, you, you know there's been so many insane turnovers. What is that? Why are all of his throws under throws? My guy's wide open. Let's see if they'll show the replay. Oh my goodness. He underthrew him so badly. I set my feet and I threw it deep. He was supposed to lead him to the right more. Oh my goodness. Rough season for Nicholas Hall. Shake it off? Yeah, I'm trying. It's just irritating. He's just having a really bad year. And I don't know why. Parker Thomas in the chat. What's going on, Parker? Hope you're doing well today. Oh, I, don't, I totally thought that that was play action. And Logan Tyler just got plowed over by Justin Jackson. Feels bad. Every one of his throws are underthrown. Yeah, that's what it seems like this season. But back to defense we go. And that is out of bounds, incomplete, intended for Justin Jackson again. Keep trying to get their playmaker of the football. Having connection issues there, Jay? Uh-oh, ramp back draw. Nice hit, oh my goodness. Oof. Hey, Nicholas Hall in the chat. I didn't put any air on it. I mean, he was supposed to. <laughs> Instead, it was just a straight bullet pass. That's all right, we're working on it, man. Third down and eight for the Bengals. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. Another deflection for Logan Tyler. Jeffrey in the chat. What's going on, Jeffrey? You just got done beating Idaho State in this game? Nice. Oh, they're going for it here. Fourth and eight at the 37. defense really how in the world <laughs> did he catch that and run through all that traffic for the first down unbelievable 
absolutely unbelievable. I tell you what, man. Your stream is delayed. Just click the click where it says live. It'll it'll reboot it. Quarterback draw. Good luck with that one, pal. Oh my goodness. Trying that with a pocket passing quarterback. He loses seven yards on the play. Brings up second and seventeen. Gotta love Heisman Chiefs. Oh yeah, 100%. You just gotta do it. Justin Jackson, of course it's a face mask. Come on, Kirk. What you doing, bruh? You're having such a good game. And it's now second down and 11. You're playing varsity. I can't, I think the last time I played any kind of college game on varsity, I was like, I don't know, like nine. <laughs> nice attempt at a forced fumble there by Bryce King. And that's going to bring up first down and goal. Got to get some more pressure on the quarterback here. Two trips to the red zone, two field goals so far for the Bengals in the game. That's going to be deflected away. That was Emmanuel Wise who got in there. And Wyatt wants a flag on the play. 10 play, 54 yard drive. Just under two minutes off the clock so far. Get him. Nice tackle. Oh my goodness. Kirk is just everywhere. All right, third and goal from the 12th. Can we hold him to another field goal here? Really? What is that animation? What is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Once he gets used to varsity, he can move up? Oh, absolutely. No shaming. I'm just saying, that's that's the last time I played it. I think I, I think I was like 9 or 10 when I moved up to, to All-American. I've been playing on Heisman since I was probably 12 or 13. Juan Freeman on for the return. Oh my goodness. Up to 20 viewers now on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. You guys are the best. Nice spin move by Hall. That's going to get him over 100 yards rushing for the game. No huddle. Why not? Why not? Nicholas Hall up to the 45-yard line. I want to throw it, but I'm just... I'm just so scared. His composure, it just hasn't been there this season. I don't know why. He had such a great freshman season. What a spin move by Harris Gurley, who's going to get out of bounds and get another first down for the Thunderbirds. 13 touchdowns for the freshman on the season. He can run, but not... That good at throwing the ball. He was fantastic last season throwing. I don't know like what happened um, in the offseason, but something changed. And I'm trying to figure it out. Throw it up. Brandon Lee, another catch for him. And that'll be a first down. Harris Gurley off tackle. And he's going to fall forward getting the first down. I'm just going to keep the no huddle train going. Yeah. 
Who wants it? Alex Duck. What was that? Another under... I threw that to Dar. I threw that ball to Dar, who was wide open. Bruh. Set the feet. I didn't even throw it to Lee. Oh, boy. Let's see how wide open Dar was here. Look at Dar. That's the intended target. Right here. Like, bro, what are you doing? What is that throw? I don't understand. I hit that throw like 99 out of 100 times. Oh my goodness. It's so frustrating. So I know that Hall can make these throws. He made them all last season. That's why he became the starting quarterback. Okay. Okay. Okay, Bryce. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, man. That ball was in the air for like two years. What happened? Pierre Moss in the chat. What's going on, Pierre? Long time no see, buddy. I keep drilling everything. I mean, every single time I've ever thrown that pass, it goes over the head of the linebacker for a touchdown. You know? It's like, I just don't know what to do. And now he's going to overthrow Freeman by a mile. wide open. That guy is so fast. Alright, they're down to 10. We got two timeouts left, so we don't really need the first down right here. Still believe in Hall? I do too. We just gotta figure out what's going on here. I don't get it. He made these throws all last season now. He's got like no accuracy. Why is everybody so fast? Thank you, McCutcheon. Okay, McCutcheon, I see you. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, he can make these throws. Rolling out to his left and slings it somehow with his right hand. I mean, he can make the throws. The consistency is just not there this season. First and goal from the three. How how is that not a touchdown? Oh boy. Easiest touchdown of his life. Harris Gurley with his 14th rushing touchdown of the season. NBA is back. Awesome. Can't remember the last time I actually watched a basketball game and cared. It's been a while. I used to love watching the NBA. Used to go over to my buddy's house uh, every year. And watch the finals. All right, two seconds left here in the half. Smith Entertainment, what's going on, Smith? How you doing, buddy? It's gonna go off tackle here, most likely. Nice spin move. Oh my goodness. 
No, you didn't. No, you did not. <laughs> Get out of here. That's how you feel about the NFL right now, Jay? Yeah. I don't really care about the NFL anymore either. I just don't care. I'm going to become one of those people that just watches the Super Bowl. Or the... You know, the playoffs. 28-13 is the score at the half. Our next game after this one, because it is a doubleheader, is going to be the number one VMI Cadets traveling to take on the Western Carolina Catamounts in Big 12 action. So stick around for that one, folks. It's McCutcheon on for the return. Why? Why? Oh, my goodness. College football, best sport of all time. Yes, sir. Love me some college football. Hope college football does come back. I mean, they're doing the just the conference schedule, aren't they? Which could be okay, I guess. All right, we're going to do that play where we threw a pick last time, okay? Oh, no, this isn't it. This is a similar version of it, though. Just a different formation. Had to run immediately because they blitzed two guys to the outsides. Oh, my goodness. All right, this is the formation right here. Now, I'm going to try to hit Dar again. He barely got enough air on that. Oh, my goodness. Nice completion, though. But that linebacker got up, man. All right, let's go off tackle. And we're up to 22 viewers now. Also, the quarterback just needs blocking. Yeah, we need to get his composure back, too. It, it's been like this all season long. It's unfortunate. And that was zero blocking. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man. All right, Japon Freeman's in the zone. Let's try to get him the football here. Deep shot, Jaquan Freeman. And he's got this one. Touchdown, Southern Utah. Let's go. Those are the passes that we're used to seeing him complete. And he got absolutely throttled as he threw that football. Oh, my goodness. Texas High School Stadiums. Are bigger than college teams? Yeah, some of them are. I, I drove by one in uh, in Florida, and I think the stadium capacity was like 32,000 or something like that. It was it was bonkers. Florida's got some nice high school stadiums. Wonderful deep ball. Yes, sir. That was his best pass of the game. Please tackle him. Thank you. He's the type you can't give up on. Yeah, he is so good. Just having a rough season. Bryce King on the tackle. Nine-yard pickup for Justin Jackson. He's up to 64 yards in the game. Yeah, Hall was uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the country last season. You know, he took the starting job from Owen Gregory, who was, he transferred. Uh, I think he's on Sacramento State. So we'll see him next season. But he took that starting role and just never looked back. And he was so fun to use, so fun to watch last season in all the games. Now we're just trying to work through something here this season with him and get him back on track. 
We'll get there. Nice play by Logan Tyler, breaking off a block and making the stop. Fourth and inches because of that play. My goodness. It's so beautiful. Go to Sweetwater if I go to Texas. Okay, I see you. They kill rattlesnakes and have a beautiful stadium. You'd love to see it. Come Freeman. Let's go down the right sideline. Not quite fast enough, but a good return nonetheless. Hundred twenty six rushing yards for Hall in the ball game. We got 20 likes on the stream, guys. That's crazy. You guys are the best. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Left tackle got destroyed. And there was holding. That was unfortunate. We are three of three on third downs in the ball game, though. We got that going for us. No! Oh my goodness! The pressure was immediate. Wow. Well, I guess we're going to punt the ball. <laughs> Man. Fourth down and 20 now. This O-line needs some work still. Bro, you have one job? I know, that left tackle is just getting slaughtered out there. I don't know what his deal is. But he got got, man. Come on, McCutcheon. Get there, buddy. Let's go, Prince! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the receiver put his body on the line for his squad. Ripped his shoulder apart, but he forced a fumble. Good play, baby. Love to see that effort from the big guy. Logan Tyler in the zone and middle linebacker for the Thunderbirds. Play action. Big hit. Logan Tyler, Mr. Dorsey, have a seat, sir. McCutcheon will return. Just a strange shoulder for the young fella. Okay, good luck with that one. Bennett's like six foot seven. Get out of here. All right, there, two of seven on third down conversions in the ball game. Bryce King in the zone at strong safety at the top. Quick pass, right side, incomplete. So they're gonna have to punt it away yet again. Huff on for his third punt of the ball game. Audrey had a nice spin move on the O-line. Yeah, she's actually made a couple nice plays on that right tackle. Just can't get in there fast enough to to get at the quarterback, though. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice return for Jaquan. Let's go, baby. Still no touchdowns on the season. But he's doing his thing. Almost 10 yards per return. That's not bad at all. Let's uh, put this game to bed, shall we? Okay. Gurley in the open field and dropped at the 47-yard line of Idaho State. Ground game has been working all game long. 
Freeman is in the zone again at receiver. Let's see if we can't get him the football. Oh my goodness, this O-line, man. I'm telling you. Okay, Turner. Whoever you are, first down. Let's go. I don't know who that is. But I will take the first down. Every time. Come on, girly. Oh, he's tired. 74 yards in the game on eight carries with a touchdown. We're doing it. It's the play where he threw a pick. Let's go. There you go. Good throw, baby. Let's go. Michael Marshall injured his shoulder on the play. Get off the screen. Let's go. Couple nice throws in a row for Hall. Let's give it off to Cameron Matthews. Because everybody else is tired. <laughs> They're ready for a nap. And Matthews to the outside, to the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Trying to put this game away. It is now 42 to 13 here in Pocatello, Idaho. In the dome. Uh oh. That's out of bounds. At least won a game, you know? I gotta do it. I need to tell myself to just not look at the chat when I'm doing kicks. I, I really should. Logan Tyler in the zone. And they don't even need him. Nice tackle right there. Jackson with 68 yards on the ground. And that is going to do it for the third quarter, folks. Southern Utah on top, 42-13 here against the Idaho State Bengals. Get your fours up in the chat. Yeah, Jay, I was reading the chat. Chat will come back to bite you sometimes. Right, second down and seven. Bryce King in the zone, a strong safety. Oh, I misplayed that. Oh my goodness, Bryce. That man has a family. 21st downs for the Thunderbirds, eight for the Bengals in the game. Justin Jackson in the zone at halfback now. Runs over Adam Joseph. Oh my goodness. Carries Bryce King. What a run. I mean, that wasn't really fair. I mean, Joseph was in the middle of being blocked. <laughs> he never even saw the ball carrier. But he put his shoulder through his soul anyways. Feels bad. Probably the only time he's ever been run over like that in his career. Don't want to talk about it. Come on, bro. Let's go, Logan Tyler with the pick. Let's go, Logan. Down the left sideline. Logan Tyler, can he beat the running back? He's gonna, he is gone. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. What a return by Logan Tyler. 82 yards for the junior middle linebacker. Oh my goodness, that's how you end somebody's drive. Oof. That's nasty. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's now two pick sixes for the linebacking core. For the Thunderbirds and the number one ranked defense in the land. 
Alright, I'm not looking at the chat. Look at that, it's perfect. Get him. Get him. Good team tackle right there. Logan Tyler out on special teams after the, the pick six. Oh my goodness. Bengals start the drive from their own 19 yard line. And there's Jericho Stevens on another tackle. I'm about to call a timeout. <laughs> Defense is a little tired. Joseph's going to miss the tackle there, but Kirk cleans it up. And that'll bring up third down and eight now for Idaho State. I'm still shocked at how fast Logan Tyler was on that pick six. And there's a face mask. Oh, boy. That was Stevens, who came in pretty much unblocked in that right end spot. Still third down though. They'll need three yards on this one. Quick pass caught by Dorsey out of bounds, short of the marker. And they're gonna punt it away again. Huff with a long of 60 on the season. Put Dara quarterback. I got you. What a punt. This punter is amazing. My goodness. All right. Let's get Alex Starr in at quarterback now for the Thunderbirds. Get him a little bit of playing time. Gurley to the outside. Look out. Oh, he's gone. Goodbye. He doesn't have any ankles left. They're gone. And so is Gurley for the touchdown. How many burgers is that, folks? How many? That's the 50 burger. What's up? Oh, that was nasty. What a spin. I'm trying to run the clock out and... <laughs> Just made one guy miss and he's gone. He's so little. He is. But he's got a big heart. Report of crime. Ankle entanglement. Nice. Alright, 56 13 now. Getting out of hand here in Pocatello, Idaho. That might go out of bounds. Yep. Two games. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my goodness, these hits. Oh man. Just punishing them at this point. Stop reading the chat. I'm sorry, Jay. I can't help it. Oof. Man, that hit. He's dead. a sack. Is that who I think it is? That is true freshman defensive end Audrey Ann gets her first sack of her career. Let's take a look. Just blew right past the right guard and it took down Billy Bennett. Congratulations Audrey on your first career sack. Oh, 
Oh, Logan Tyler, another deflection. Scored two touchdowns and missed an extra point. <laughs> Bruh, come on. <laughs> Why not a touchdown and two field goals, you know? This punter is amazing. Who is this, Ray Guy? What is going on here? Parker Thomas getting real weird in the chat. Had a dream about being with a girlfriend. I like it. It's nice. Bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> What's happening to this defense? They're just non-existent anymore. You didn't know Idaho State had Pat McAfee out here. <laughs> I know, their punter is just amazing. I don't understand what's happening. Of course, they tackled us out of bounds there. Hall somehow gets a yard or two out of there. What is happening? I don't know, brother. I just don't know. Why is Hall in a quarterback? Oh, because Dar is in at receiver on those formations. I got you. Just switch it up. It's the only drawback about having formation subs. Nice blocking downfield. Oh, you couldn't pitch it. Spencer Dotson injured his chest on the play for the Bengals. That doesn't look too good. In the red zone yet again, four trips, four touchdowns. Yeah, Parker, just don't drink ever again. Don't do it. Who wants it? Dwayne Haynes, first career touchdown reception for the freshman tight end. Also his first catch. Beautiful throw from Alex Dar. my goodness. And we are back up to 20 viewers again on the stream. This stream has been popping off tonight. If you're new, stick around. After this stream is over, we'll be having another game. Number one, VMI Cadets travel to Western Carolina to take on the Catamounts in Big 12 play. Did your halfback score? Harris, where have you been, my guy? PC froze. Feels bad. Dotson out for the game with a strained pectoral. Well, nothing too serious for the Bengals. A rodeo bullfighter in the stands. No game can top this one. Greatest of all time. Where are you guys going? Like, what are you doing? Third down, 13. What do you think, Regear? Should I get the ball back and score a field goal and then try to get the ball back again and score another field goal? And there's a sack. Audrey Ann gets her second of the game. Let's go. Thank you. 
Oh my goodness, this punter is just insane. Like, bro, stop stop kicking it so far, my guy. You're deaf now? She screamed yes yeah so loud. <laughs> That's great. That is awesome. Brandon Lee wide open. The fullback has it. And he's down to the 22-yard line. First down. Come on, Dark. Take off, baby. There's Gurley. Can he get in? Dropped at the one yard line. Wow. It's like they're not even trying anymore. Game number 69, 69 points, let's go. There's a face mask. <laughs> We had to do it. We had to. I wasn't looking at the chat. What you talking about, Geo? Come on, brother. That was a nice little squib kick. You wanted your 70 burger? Well, sometimes, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You just can't do it. Had to get 69 points for the culture. Jericho Stevens with six tackles in the game. My goodness. Third down and 10. They are 2 of 12 on third downs. Yeah, where, where are you going with that? What, what was that throw, my guy? That's right, for the culture, Jay. For the culture. Ray Guy on for the punt. Okay, Jaquan. Okay, he's just carrying the whole defense. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, that's going to be the final score, guys. 69-13, Southern Utah cruises to an easy dub here in Pocatello, Idaho, against the now 2-4 Idaho State Bengals. Thunderbirds improved to 5-2 on the season. Nice Pac-10 victory here for them tonight. Just absolute domination from start to finish, really. Keep 69 for 69th game. Makes everyone proud. Yes, sir. Punters on steroids? I know, man. It's insane. All right, let's take a look at the stats real quick. 638 yards of offense. Oh, my. 414 on the ground, 224 through the air. 6 of 6 in the red zone. 
two interceptions. We intercepted them three times. Their punter averaged 51.6 yards per punt. Dude, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Drive summary. That's it. 69, 13, 27 points in the fourth quarter. We had we had to do it. We had to do it for the culture. Just had to do it. All right, later, brother. Take it easy. Again, stick around after this game. We'll be having another one. VMI takes on Western Carolina. 205 yards for Harris Gurley. Two touchdowns. Nicholas Hall had a touchdown. Cameron Matthews had two. Brandon Lee had one. His first of the season. Dwayne Haynes, his first career reception is a touchdown. You'll love to see it. Jaquan Freeman, one catch, 49 yards and a score. Left tackle, Cliff Howard. You you got destroyed in this game. My goodness. Logan Tyler, eight tackles. Kirk at seven. Bennett with six. Stevens, six. Oh, my goodness. Audrianne, two tackles, two for loss, two sacks. You'd love to see it. Look at all these tackles for a loss. Goodness gracious. Three sacks. Three interceptions. Forced fumble for Prince McCutcheon, the wide receiver. And two pick sixes in the ball game. Why should tight end have 90 jumping? Because uh, he's like two feet tall. What do you mean? All right, take a look at the players of the game right quick. Harris Gurley, Logan Tyler, and Bennett, players of the game for Southern Utah. Martin Green and Justin Jackson, players of the game for the Bengals. Our next game, which will be out shortly in about five minutes after the stream is completed. We will be having that game. Number one VMI, 6-0 and oh on the season. Traveling to, what is that, Kolowe, North Carolina? I think that's how you say it, Kolowe? Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, there's a Big 12 game. And the Catamounts, I mean, they've definitely had some good games in this series in the past couple seasons, so I'm not going to overlook them at all. I'm expecting them to come in there and put up a heck of a fight against the number one ranked team in the country. But give me about five minutes to set up that stream, guys, and we will get it popping. That is the final game of Week 8, so that means after the game is completed, we'll be taking a look at the nation. We'll see what's going on in the insane Pac-10 conference and, and see who's actually in the lead for that one. Um, that should be really interesting. We'll check out the Heisman watch list, the top 25, and yeah, all that fun stuff. But that's it for me for this stream. Give me five minutes. We'll get into that one. Slap the like button on the way out of the stream, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason. Take it easy, guys.